Welcome to an introduction to neurons. There are three types of neurons, motor neurons, sensory neurons, and interneurons. Neurons are made similar to each other. They have dendrites, which receive signals, a soma, or cell body, which receives and interprets the signal, which can then send the signal down its axon helix and onto the axon, which is covered in myelinated sheaths, which insulate the signal and allow for the propagation of the signal down to the muscle. A neuron's arrangement consists of receptor endings which receive a signal, which then send a signal down a sensory neuron to an interneuron, which then send a signal to a motor neuron. Motor neurons are linked to the muscles that are the driving force of constriction or relaxation. Sensory neurons are linked to the receptors that receive an impulse of some kind that send a signal through the interneurons to the motor neuron to react to the impulse. Interneurons just relay the signal. Within the neuron's outer membrane, proteins allow ions to enter or exit, which change the polarity of the electrochemical gradient. These proteins are potassium leak channels, sodium leak channels, which allow sodium to pass through, but much less than potassium, and a sodium-potassium pump, which is a 3 to 2 ratio. This ratio consists of three sodium ions exiting the membrane and two potassium ions entering. These proteins help maintain a membrane's resting potential. This is a positive outer layer and a negative interior. To propagate the signal, and disrupt the membrane's resting potential, voltage-gated sodium channels open and close when this action potential is reached. When the cell becomes positive on the inside, it opens, allowing a rush of sodium into the cell. The action potential is the most important. This is an all or none signal which begins. This change in the resting membrane's potential. Once the threshold is met, the propagation of the signal continues down the sensory neurons to the spinal cord and then to the motor neuron, which reacts to the stimulus. The threshold, if not exceeded, will not cause an action potential to propagate down the axon. How does it all work? A stimulus must be present. Once it is strong enough, it creates an action potential to change the polarity of the membrane, which then opens the voltage-gated sodium channels, causing an influx of sodium to change the neuron's interior polarity. This causes potassium to be displaced. The potassium leak channels allow them out but the sodium-potassium pump wants the membrane's resting potential to return. Fortunately, the voltage-gated sod sodium pumps only open for 2 milliseconds and won't open again until the propagation of the signal is complete. This will then travel down the axon and to the muscles causing a reaction. Oh, oh, oh.
Notice how Geo is able to sense the laser pointer. His sensory neurons sent a signal to his brain, which gave him the ability to react to the signal, which then sent a signal to his motor neurons, which constricted his muscles, allowing him to pounce on that laser. Thank you for watching my video.